That doesn't make sense. How Gravity doesn't work like that. Its tail doesn't stay up. I like how it just up. Whoop. Whoop. Woo! That, that doesn't make sense. Alrighty. World. What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Arc Insight video and today we are taking a look at the new resident hell pigs, the Daydons. Look at the, look at that face, look at that hideous look at, oh my god you are actually really ugly. Ugh, it's giving me the heebie jeebies just thinking about it. Okay, so same deal as the Lyprodon that we just did in the last video, we'll be going through these guys, their new abilities that are new in Arc, sorry. That doesn't make sense, you know what I mean. Uh, their maximum speed, their maximum melee damage, and just what these guys can actually do. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna showcase their passive healing ability. So as you guys know, well if you don't know, these guys actually enable passive healing to dinosaurs in an area. Now I don't know if that activated, yes it did. So what it does is it actually heals your dinosaurs in a certain range or area. Oh my God, look at that, look at that tail bounce up and down, look at it. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. How Gravity doesn't work like that. Its tail doesn't stay up. I like how it just up. Whoop. Whoop. Woo! That, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Alrighty. So like I was saying, these guys actually passive heal. So what you're able to do with these guys is, you can see here his food is actually dropping. Now, it, it drops a substantial amount for a dinosaur. Most, dino, most dinos' food don't drop that much, but these guys do. Now, because of their passive healing, they actually lose a lot more food than other dinos because that's how they heal through their food. So what you're going to want to do with these guys, you can see there, there we go, we've got passive healing going on. I don't know what was going on with the other one. That didn't seem to be working. But this one seems to be working. Wait, how are we, is that a female? Okay, that's, uh, yeah, that should be fine. So this guy is now passive healing. Now if we come in here and look at his food, you can see that his food is slowly diminishing. But if we say come up to, okay, let's go test this on our mammoth, right? So just take a quick note here. So you can see that it has what, 12,607, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn passive healing off, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to deal a couple thousand, depends on how strong our pickaxe is. So we're going to hit our mammoth, see exactly how much damage we do to him. And then we're going to go jump over to our pig and see how much passive healing he does. Now I've been, I've read up that it deals about 50, 50 health per 50 food, I think it was, something along those lines. So yeah, so you're gonna wanna make sure you've always got a shite ton of food on these guys. Okay, so he was on 4,800 health. Now if we come over here and enable passive healing, his food should start dropping unless we failed and, nope, that's still off. Okay, so he should have passive healing going on. Now you can see here, his food is still the same, but if we come over to the mammoth, the mammoth health should slowly start increasing. So you can see that it's going up slowly, nothing too amazing, but it is actually healing more than it would by itself, which is rather incredible. So you can see that it's going up rather steady. I think it was 0.8 of a health bit. So you can see that there's another pulse of it. But if we come in here, He's got a little bit more health, that, uh, sorry, food that's been used actually. So, you know, you can see the mammoth has the green glow on him. So look at, let's take a look at his health now. There you go, now you can see it's working. So look at that health go up. That's going up by like 20 per second. So, you know, you've got to make sure you use a lot of food on these guys. You can see his food is dropping. Now it has it's stopped because the mammoth has received the effect. You can see the green glow on the mammoth to show that it is working. And look at the poo produced by this guy. That is a lot of food. That's why you need to stock these guys up on food. So yeah, the healing that they do is pretty much in unison with their food. So if you want these guys to be a big passive healer, you're going to want to pump their food up a lot. Like I'm talking a lot. You can see there's 17,595. He's really happy about pumping food up. Look at his, oh my God, they're so ugly. Okay, so yeah, so you're going to want to pump their food up. And you know, if you want to bring them into battle against the boss dinos, you're also going to want to pump up their health as well. Movement speed, weight, melee damage, you know, not so much. Stamina, not so much either. You want to focus on that food and health so they stay alive and that they can heal your dinosaurs in battle. So, now that we've gone over their abilities, look at that butthole. Look at that, look at that butt. It's already stained by the next poo. Okay, so now that we've gone over their abilities, their taming method. Now, these guys are pack 
hunters or herders kind of thing. So they hunt in groups of three or fours. So if you want to tame these guys, you're going to need bowlers and, you know, crossbows, long neck rifles, you know, whatever you want to use to tame them. But bowlers are definitely more effective because they do actually work on these guys and hold them in place. You've just got to make sure that you separate them from the herd. Now, another thing to note while taming these guys is they'll actually give off their passive healing when you're trying to attack them. So with that, you're going to actually want them to use their passive heal first because, like I said, it drops their food massively, which makes taming a whole lot easier for you. So yeah, just take that into consideration as well. Okay, now we're going to take a look at their maximum melee damage and maximum movement speed. So I've got this guy here that we're on. He has 307 melee damage, which is rather high. So we're going to pump his melee damage all the way up. He's fully maxed out on levels. You can see there, points available 71. So we're going to pump him at max on melee damage. Now this guy is our movement speed. He's got 71 points available. And we're going to pump his movement speed up in all those levels. So you can see there, he's, he's got a pretty decent movement speed. He's able to move rather quickly. I, I can't get over that tail. That tail is just incredible. Okay, so we're going to pump up his movement speed. And I will bring you back when we're done. And we're back, and their movement speed has been pumped to maximum. He's at 360 movement speed, which is an incredibly high amount. And you can see his little waddle is, it's okay. It's, you know, it's nothing amazing. But you can see here, you actually have the ability to use the heal while on him as well. So all you have to do is hit your secondary attack, which is the left trigger for PlayStation, and you activate the healing field. Now, you can see that your Daydon is consuming extra food to heal your alleys. This isn't really affecting him. Well, it kind of is affecting him too much, but none of our dinos are actually low on health, but it still consumes a lot of food. So you're going to want to make sure you pump these guys with tons of food. I can't reinforce that enough. Tons and tons of food on these guys, especially in your PVPing, you know, going after enemy bases and all that, bosses, you're going to want to pump a lot of health and food on these guys and then fill them up with a lot of food. Okay, maximum speed. Let's turn that off now. Now you can see this guy is going bonkers. This is his maximum speed. Look at that character on top. Look at him having like the shakes. The tail is going nuts. Everything's going nuts. It's all going crazy. Look at look at look at our guy. Look at him go. So these guys are really fast. Now they can jump as well. They have quite a bit of jump distance on them. That was actually surprising. Although we were on a hill, so if we stay, yeah, that's that's not bad. He's got a pretty good jumping. So yeah, so these guys are fast. They've got good movement speed. I mean, I can't complain too much. Although I still would pump them in health and food because you want these guys to be healers. First dinos in arc to actually passively heal. Rather incredible. Okay, now we're going to come on to this guy, pump his melee damage up to the maximum, see how much damage he does. Alrighty, and we've pumped this guy up to maximum melee damage, and he has 663.7 melee damage. Now, this was on a maximum tamed Daydon, so every, their melee damage stat could range in a variety by a few, by I'd say 10 or 20 of what I had, so 10 or 20 up or down of the 300, depending on his other stats and you know how he levels up in the wild. But now we'll see how much damage he does to other dinos. So we've got this Kana here. All we're going to do is we're going to set this guy to passive. And we are going to unclaim him. And then we'll see how much damage he does. Okay, so we've got our maximum leveled melee damage Daydon. And he does 255 damage, which is a lot of damage. Granted, he is pumped up high on melee damage. And obviously, this isn't the strongest dino you can get for melee damage. But, you know, that's still a decent amount. So, you know... He's, he's killed that kind of pretty quickly. Now, he also does harvest meats and hides from other dinos. And he does have quite a bit of weight on him. You can see there, 600 weight. The other two dino, Daedons did ha also have 600 weight on themselves. So, you know, these new dinos are actually a really good addition to the Ark game because passive healing, you know, extra... Just that passive healing alone is going to be so incredibly powerful, you know, in terms of PvE and PvP. So, you know, just... Keep a watch on these guys and definitely get yourself a pair of these guys. This guy, he's just going to demolish all this food, isn't he? He's, yeah, he's just going to eat it all. Alrighty, guys. Well, that'll be it for today. Hopefully, you guys found this video useful, found, you know, their maximum speed, their maximum melee damage useful, their hidden abilities and all that sort of stuff as well. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, let me know down below. I would appreciate it greatly. Keep an eye out on my channel. I will be doing a new comparison uh, in the next few days. There should be one coming out of turrets. So keep an eye out for that. I'm not going to spoil it, but definitely keep an eye out. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.